Flight time today, 3 hours and 53 minutes, cruising at 41,000 feet. Uh, about to start our briefing now, emergency briefing, followed by our normal briefing, and uh, hopefully we'll be on our way shortly. Ready for emergency briefing? Yes. So this will be a left seat takeoff. If a malfunction occurs before V1, I'll call stop or go. If the call stop, I'll immediately and simultaneously close the thrust levers, disconnect the auto throttle, verify the speed brake comes up, or manually raise the speed brake. I'll apply full reverse thrust as well. I'll verify the operation of the auto brake, apply max manual braking, bring the aircraft to a stop, set the parking brake, P 
PA announced this is the captain attention code stations, and then come back VHF left. Once we've come to a stop, we'll assess the ICAST, do the appropriate non-normals, or memory items and non-normal checklists, and then from there we'll determine whether an evacuation is required or whether we can exit the runway and return to the stand. Okay. Any questions? No. If the calls go, we'll continue the takeoff. Uh, we're pretty light today, so additional thrust is available. I can always push the thrust forward if we need to. Rotate, positive climb. Once we're above 200 feet, I'm establishing the climb. I'll engage the autopilot. And then at uh, 400 feet, uh, we'll, uh, I'll ask you to assess the ICAST. We'll do the appropriate memory items. Uh, the engine out procedure is uh, 10 DME, Mexico, VOR. We a left turn and then return back and hold over the Mexico City VOR. The MSA is uh, 14,800, so we'll climb to 15,000, remain clear of the, all that terrain that's just north of us. And uh, we'll do the non-normal, followed by a normal checklist. And uh, in case we have to come back, single engine, auto brakes four, and uh, flaps 30, and we're light enough, and we come back uh, two engines, auto brakes four as well, and flaps 30 for a normal landing. And then uh, left turn off onto um, okay. Bravo 9. Questions on that? No, no questions. Okay. Any threats today? A few threats today. Uh, it's a high elevation destination. Uh, we also have high terrain around the airport, so high MSA. Uh, the RT is uh, challenging. And uh, there's the volcanic ash. Yeah. And we're low weight. Right. That's true. So low weight, um, high climb rate, which is fine. We will meet our climb gradient, so we'll just do a normal takeoff as far as uh, the um, acceleration altitudes. Okay. And then um, the volcanic ash, our departure should take us away from that uh, volcano. Yep. Um, but we're aware of it. And then uh, weather's good. And then operationally, we're just going to be taxiing down Bravo. Figures for Bravo 2 for the... Uh, Charlie Uniform Alpha, 5 Alpha departure, right turn out. And we know the terrain is uh, quite high, 14,800, and then 19.4, but we should be turning away from it. Okay. Um, I will hand fly a little bit, probably to about 1,000 feet, and then I'll engage the autopilot. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No questions. All right. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist, oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Flight instruments. Heading 324, altimeter 3023. Heading 324, altimeter 3023, fuel. 30 decimal 4 required, 30 decimal 4 on board. Pre flight checklist complete. Thank you. All right. We do a review of the, um, the load sheet. Yeah, go for it. So it's uh, final one Mexico to Quito, EK 9920, 13th of Feb. Registration Echo Foxtrot Golf. And uh, total number of passengers is two. Total number of crew, sorry, crew is two. Total four. DOW is 141.8. In range. And DOI is 36.8. In range. And zero fuel weight 155.7. Check. With a takeoff weight of 185.3. Check. A landing weight of 164.3. Check. MACTO 28.5. Alternate. Is checked. We have a, a lateral imbalance of 500 kilos. Check. And uh, no, uh, no dangerous goods, so no no talk. And a name and license number has been signed. Okay. You ready for the entry? Yes. So zero fuel weight, 155.7. With a fuel of 30.4, gives us a gross weight of 186.1. Check. Assume temperature? 52. Climb two is armed. Engine on acceleration? 1,000. Acceleration 1,000, thrust reduction 1,000. Flaps? Five. CG is uh, 28. Runway 5 left V speeds? V1, 127. VR, 130. V2, 135. 
Euroflaps 30 is 126. Check. And uh, let's do 250. Oh, you did it right. Thanks. So it's uh, flight level 410, 250 to 18,000. Check. And our first restriction is 200 at uh, Mexico 6. Check. So V2 is 135. LNAV, VNAV is armed, track 053, altitude 230. Check. That is for us. You ready to go, Heidi? Yeah. Ready to go, just waiting on air traffic control clearance. There's an aircraft passing behind us and then we'll be on our way. Emirates 9980, clear to push on to Charlie. Expect taxi on Charlie 1, runway 05 left, call ready to taxi. Clear to push back on to Charlie, Emirates 9980. Before we'll start, checklist complete. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cockpit to ground. Yes. We're cleared for push back and start on to Charlie for your exit Charlie 1. Okay. Please, brakes release and clear to push on Charlie. Brakes release time 2 8. 2 8, thank you. With the face to the Charlie 1. Yes, correct. Ready for engine start? Yes. Ground to fly deck, please. Parking brake is set. And the area is clear for the start the engines right and left. Parking brake is set. We'll start engine number one and then engine number two. Clear number one. Start and left.
So Heidi started the uh, ignition, which opens the air starter valves. And I've introduced the uh, fuel control switch to run, which uh, gives us uh, the fuel flow and the igniters. Now we're just watching the exhaust gas temperature. Once it starts to rise, we're looking for an oil pressure indication. In the meantime, it's just dry motoring. So there was the EGT's uh, increase, and we have an oil pressure indication. And now our N1's spooling up our N2. So the engine is now stabilized at idle, and we're just starting engine number two. Starting engine number two. Start right engine. Clear number two. The uh, auto start system doesn't monitor the oil pressure and temperature, so that's why we have to make sure after there's an increase in EGT that there's an oil pressure indication. So stabilized. We have two good starts. Thanks for the pushback. See you with the hand signals on the right hand side. Good night. Thank you. The tow bar and steering pin is removed. There is clear for taxi. See you on the right side. Have a nice flight. Bye bye. Bye bye. Flaps five. There he is walking away. I see the pen. Thank you. You can wave him off. Free call. Checked. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist, anti ice, auto. Recall. Checked. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Is clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Ready? Yes. MH9922, runway 05, left CNH 30 decimal 24. Hold position, I call you back uh, to continue. Hold position, CNH. 3024, Emirates, 99920. Uh, 3024, set. I'll take one. 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 I'll take Okay, hold short, runway 5 left, and tower 118.55, United at 10 Emirates 9920, 
That should be a Charlie 1, Bravo, hold shuttle, runway 05 left. Charlie 1 and Bravo Hotel Romain 05 left. Right. Alright, behind the circle. And A112, Charlie on the Hotel Charlie 1. Check this. Before takeoff checklist. Before takeoff checklist. checklist. Cabin ready. Received. Before takeoff checklist complete. Checklist complete. Tráfico 767. Inicia remolque. Charlie a Mexicana. Me informa ingresando a Langa. Víctor Romeo Alfa. Muy buen día, Interior 2780. Interior 2780, por si. Está muy buen día, Interior 2780, posición 13, código 1362, conectando a Ranger Remote. Interior 2780, mantengan por la pendiente de la llamada. Romeo Alfa, Polaris. Emirates 9920, we can accept intersection Bravo 2 for departure. Emirates 9920, taxi B, uh, Bravo, hold short runway 05 left. Taxi B, Bravo, hold short runway 05 left, Emirates 9920. Full length. Okay. Para las es 1194, mantengan de 5 izquierda y escuche torre 1855. He's lining up. Check. Okay, line up and wait. Check. Clear on the right. And he's clear left.
Confirmed. Confirmed. Emirates 9820 Heavy 5, live to wing calm, clear for takeoff, contact departure on 120.5 in the airbite. Right. Take off. Thrust draft. Take. Thrust set. Eighty knots. Hold. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. L nav. Check. Four hundred. Thrust draft VNAV speed. Check. Flaps one. Speed check. Flaps one. Autopilot. Check. Contacto 128 0 Centro México, buen día. Cambiamos para Centro México, 2800, Cabeza 6, Centro México, voy a dar el 0, buen día, por ser aviso. Bueno, el interior 2983, reduce a 169. Bueno, el 697, reduce a 229. Flaps up, speed check. Flaps up. I don't need to take from here. I have to take off checklist. After take off checklist, after take off checklist complete. Cinco derecha operable al momento. Prosiga por su derecha el directo madre. Desciende a uno dos mil. Está autorizado la aproximación y el SM2 a 5 derecha. Mantenga el presente de la ciudad. Transition, ultimate is reset standard. 
checked. Papa Fox 511, buenos días, que está en contacto, ¿verdad? 180 claiming 230, check. Interior 2983, 4 millas de plaza, servicio radar terminado, contacto de torre en 118.55, buen día. Mike, Mike, November, buen día, contacto radar, Hacienda 2809. Polari 697, descienda a 12010, reduce a 209. Emirates 9920, contact Mexico Center on 128.5 today. Mexico Center 128.5. Autorizado 390 final, y 2532. Before start checklist complete. Thank you. Copy to ground. Yes. We're cleared for push back and start on to Charlie for exit Charlie 1. Okay. Please brakes release and clear to push on Charlie. Brakes release time 2A. 2A, thank you. With the face to the Charlie one. Yes, correct. Emirates 9820 Heavy 5, live to wind calm, clear for takeoff, contact departure on 120.5 in the airbike. Heavy 5, left clear to takeoff, departure is 120.5 at Miami. Alright. Takeoff. Thrust draft. Check. Thrust set.
80 knots. Hold. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. L nav. Check. Four hundred. Thrust V nav speed. Check. Execute. Execute. Uh, fly to Al Sal. Alright, Al Sal, Emirates 9920. Alright, Al Sal. Direct to Al Sal. Confirm. Execute. And so, speed VNF path. 400 climbing 410. Check. Volamos a Quautla, Rochester. So we're level, flight level 410, direct to position Alsal. In the event of a depressurization, our grid mora is, uh, or our mora here is uh, 15,700 feet. So we'll descend to 16,000. And then, uh, third, uh, then we'll descend to 14.2. And 30 minutes from now, so 12.43 roughly, we can descend to 10,000. We'll be over the ocean. Okay, okay. Mexico City's behind us. And we'll return back to Mexico City under radar vectors. Uh, engine out, probably very low, uh, cruise altitude 33.8 and 221 knots. So plenty of time to reduce your speed and descend to our drift down altitude. Okay. Hi guys, we're at uh, 41,000 feet, departed of Mexico on uh, runway 05 left. Early morning traffic, nothing uh, unusual for Mexico City, but it wasn't too bad. Then we made a right turn off after departure, and now we're on our way, enjoying the sunrise, what's about to happen. So as you can see, the sunrise is uh, stunning in this part of the world. We're about to uh, approach Guatemala, and it's just uh, the most prettiest thing in the morning for me, is the sunrise. Hi guys, just a brief update on where we are. So as you can see, we've just departed Mexico City. This is us, this uh, green dot here. We'll be tracking along the amber line down the coast, passing past Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, eventually into Ecuador. This is Quito here.